Are you tired of struggling with your DJ Crate organization? Well, stick around because we have five lightning fast techniques to level up your DJ Crate organization. Let's get started with step number one. Group your tracks by genre and BPM. I like to turn my previous performances into crates that I can reuse. Here's a pop dance party that I did just recently. Now keep in mind where my BPM is placed. It's right next to the track title. To the left of it is key, and I just moved the comment field to the left of everything else. And this is where I put my energy column. Now I do this so I can have a quick gauge as to what tempo I'm in, but I can also look at other factors that I can bring in to make the mix even more flawless. Step number two, eliminate all low bitrate files. Low bitrate, the quality of sound in a song. If you're going to keep any song in your collection, I'd love to personally have you at 320 kilobytes. You might wanna question anything lower than that either replace or purge. Now in most DJ software, there is a bitrate column, but deleting the songs, let alone replacing them, can often be tricky. We have a simple low bitrate finder, see which low quality songs you have, purge the song, and find a higher quality version with our record pools or various streaming resources. When speaking of purging, here's step number three, deleting your duplicates. Sometimes we just have way too many tracks and oftentimes we grab multiple versions of that track. Now here's one simple quick tip to go about it. Open up the folder in which you have your music, columnize the file name. This way you'll be in alphabetical order. If you see two songs that are similar to one another, you can delete. Careful when you do that though, because you might lose that in a previous crate. Always remember your file locations. But if you wanna kill your duplicates for good, that's one of the benefits to step number four in our lightning fast techniques for DJ crate organization. I want you to consider one folder location for all of your music. This may seem like a mountain of work and we're gonna make it a little less challenging for you now by doing two things. We're gonna take all that music stored everywhere and put it into one folder, thereby instantly deleting duplicates. Let me show you an example. I'm gonna copy one of these songs. I'm gonna paste it to my desktop. Now, if I were to bring this song back in, your operating system is gonna say, are you sure you wanna have it in the same folder? And that's the beauty of keeping most of your music in one folder, because anytime it detects a duplicate, it's going to ask you if you really wanna keep it in there or not. Before we get to our final step, take a moment, click subscribe. All we ever do is talk about music organization, DJ tips and tricks, and what hits you need to have in your crates. Moving into step number five of our lightning fast techniques for DJ crate organization, regular maintenance. As a DJ, usually we're spending our weekdays to get ready for our weekends. We spend most of our time on record pools, tracking down all the exclusive producer tools and trying to find what's on the charts. Billboard, we go to our local radio station and top 10 list. That's probably the most important tip of all is staying on top of the music. And we as Crate Hackers are obsessed with that, which is why we want you to join us. Download the Crate Hackers desktop app for free right now. Link in the comments. Five lightning quick techniques for your DJ Crate organization. I'm Aaron Trailer. We'll see you on the next video. Happy hacking.